Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. I have always believed that there was a hidden energy or life force to things that were authentic in nature. This energy emanated from real, natural, and God-made things, like human touch, love, art made by humans, music played by humans, all things nature, animals, trees, even hardwood floors in your house, or a carved toy your great-grandfather whittled with a pocket knife. I have no proof of this, only a feeling. And I would be curious if I could be tricked into thinking all was fine if this energy was absent. I doubt if one could tell immediately. I don't doubt that some people are super sensitive to it. I would suspect that many would just have a feeling something wasn't right if touched by their supposed loved one who was a cyborg and no longer natural. Of course, over time you would tell. You would slowly die and slowly your body would be drained of its soul after losing its connection in the material world to God. I am reminded of the book and movie The Invasion of the Body Snatchers. The story tells of people who have physically been replaced by an alien plant form that drifts onto Earth via cosmic dust floating through the universe. The humans replaced by the plant pods are synthetic versions of the original. They look the same as the humans they replaced, complete with memories and mannerisms. But something is different, something no one close to them can put their finger on, but they just know. They simply aren't the same. So much so that their loved ones who notice are beside themselves with fear and concern. One little boy runs away from home because mommy isn't mommy anymore. It is interesting how the author of the original book, Jack Finney, made such an effort to describe this zombie-like state and its subtleties. The snatched ones were not obviously zombies or aliens, but were delicately different, but at the same time radically inhuman, to those who knew them well. They were soulless. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. I have mentioned before in many articles that my first career was as a film composer in Hollywood. I would provide the musical underscore to television programs and full-length motion pictures. I was drawn to this work as an artist and was intrigued by the emotional power music played accompanying a visual narrative. It was all magic to me, and I became obsessed with it. Unfortunately, I entered the field about 20 years too late, as I came in at the same time synthetic music entered the scene. In the beginning, I did not know how important the execution of the music was, i.e., the live musicians who played it. But, as sampled music or music created by machines intended to replace humans became more prevalent, my satisfaction with my work became less and less. I came to hate what I was doing and eventually left the field because of it. Sure, synthesizers and sampled music never completely took over as was predicted, I wonder why, but during my time in Hollywood, you could not do the work properly without huge budgets, which of course were non-existent with most projects available to me. Could I tell the difference between live musicians and sampled musicians? In the beginning, yes, it was rather obvious. Sometimes it would sound very similar as long as the music was not too complicated, but you could always tell something was off, just like with Finney's Pod People. It just wasn't the same. Even today, after many years of progress in the technology of sampling, I can just feel something is off. This hidden energy is everywhere, and through the centuries, human beings have moved further and further from it. It was at one time present in nearly everything. If human hands had a say in creating something, it was there. Artisans who built your home in the 1800s, through skilled hands, heart and mind, conveyed this hidden energy. 
Artists creating sculptures, paintings, and music, presented it always in their work that people admired and found to be soul-quenching. It was found in poetry, literature, and anything a human created. And, of course, it was found in love, and the love conveyed from one human being to another, through touch, holding, being present, and love-making. Eye contact was even enough to convey this hidden energy. In gathering together, it was present. Walking hand in hand down the street or through a meadow. It was present in a smile and a polite gesture. However, through the ages, most notably recently, we have done whatever we can to eradicate anything that conveys this hidden energy. We scramble to replace human artisans, we scramble to mechanize construction, we scramble to replace humans and human touch wherever we can. Even replacing checkout personnel and waiters in restaurants, we are destroying the conveyance of soul. We are quickly losing this hidden energy. It is still here to some extent, but quickly disappearing. Of course, I cannot write an article without bringing in the agenda and its conscious effort to zombify humanity. The agenda, through its devotion to satanic evil, has picked up on this slow movement away from soul. Maybe it has been taking advantage of this since Adam and Eve strolled the gardens of Eden, or maybe it has become the intentional effort it is now, only recently. Whenever it began, it certainly is here today. Transhumanism leads the pack in this effort, but, we see the ripping out of this energy, this connection with God, everywhere we look if we look hard enough. Because it is a hidden energy, it is easy to miss. And because no one seems to think it is important, much like a missing vitamin that is essential to life, no one is making an effort to stop this assault. Take the advent of AI art and chat GPT, everyone thinks this is a wonderful technological advance. They do not see it as the rape of humanness that it is. Our connection with soul, spirit, and God, is through our connection with nature and our human creativity. We are human, and as humans, we are a player in the natural world of creation. When we as humans touch something, love something, and create something from the heart, we are expressing humanness, and thus expressing nature, and thus expressing God. When this expression is gone, we are gone. Gone. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.